Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we have some fresh new products from Corsair. This is the Corsair Enthusiast series and you might be familiar with the TX moniker that has previously existed on some of their Enthusiast series power supplies. These are TX version 2. So we have a TX 850 watt, TX 750 watt, and TX 650 watt here. They're all version 2 power supplies, brand new. This is my first experience with them, so I'm going to be taking a first time look at them. Have some specs on hand here from Corsair, and we're going to do an unboxing of each one to show you how they look and what are the different cabling and accessories that are included. Now, the TX version 2 series that we have here is an updated version, and again, this is the Enthusiast platform. Corsair also has an HX series of power supplies, and they also have an AX series of power supplies. And just reading the documentation for this particular line, we see the words price and performance listed several times. And what price and performance generally means to me is they're trying to give you the best bang for your buck. Uh, there is a little bit of a trade-off in that these power supplies are not modular, all the cables are attached but Corsair wants to be able to give you the high quality internals that you're used to with the HX and AX series, while at the same time being sure that you can purchase this for a reasonable, pri reasonable price. So there is our um, booklet and instruction manual for the 650, 750, and 850 watt versions. Here is our power supply itself. We have a heavy, heavy duty AC adapter cable. They're including several cable tie downs as well as the mounting screws uh, for the Corsair power supply itself. They give you a little power by Corsair uh, badge for your case. Never is it more appropriate than when you have a powered by badge for your power supply. And then here is our power supply itself. Keep in keeping with Corsair's quality in both packaging and accessories, they've given you a nice little pouch here that your power supply sits in. It is a nice touch, although at this point, I really haven't found much use for the pouches after the power supply is actually installed. If you have a module, modular power supply, it's great for holding your modu modular cables. But uh, let me just get these unwrapped here. And we will take it out of the pouch. So this being a non-modular power supply, you can see here all of your cables are pre-attached, which is good. We don't want them floating around if it's a non-modular power supply. Um, but Corsair has mentioned that you're getting a lot of extra cable length with the cables on this power supply. So if you have a case where the power supply mounting area is maybe a little bit more removed from your motherboard or the rest of your components, you should have plenty of cable length with these TX version 2 series to reach all of your necessary uh, power locations. So there's a look at the power supply itself. It has a basic matte uh, black paint finish. We have the Corsair TX850 logo there on both sides, so you can see it no matter which way you have the power supply mounted. Here at the bottom we have a 140 millimeter fan, and on the back we have a on-off switch and the port there for your AC power plug. All right guys, so here we have all three of our power supplies laid out. This is the 850, this is the 750, and this is the 650. So first let's talk about what is the same between all, the, all three of these, and what is most evident, of course, is the size of the housing itself. We have 6.3 inches of depth on the housing, and that is the same across all models. Uh, the height and the width are the same, and that is just ATX standard. Um, all three of these uh, support ATX 12 volt version 2.31, as well as EPS version 2.92 standards. They're all also backwards compatible with ATX uh, version 2.2 and 2.01. All of these 140 millimeter fans are double ball bearing, which means that they deliver really low noise, uh, even, and they will also vary the, the fan speed based on the temperature of the components inside. All three models are 80 plus bronze certified, which means that they'll deliver 85% energy efficiency under normal load conditions. Uh, they all feature active power factor correction. Um, all of them have an automatic switching AC input at a pier that will switch from 90 to 264 volts. You don't have to flip that little switch, it will automatically detect it. These are all based on a single plus 12 volt rail design and um, the only real difference there is the amps that are available for each one and I have that information here. Uh, the 650 watt version is based on a 53 amp single 12 volt rail. The 750 is a 60 amp 12 volt rail and the 850 is a 70 amp 
12 volt rail. Um, moving on, they both they all have over voltage and over current protection. Um, they all feature high quality Japanese capacitors inside, and all of them comes with a very generous five year warranty from Corsair. Um, finally, all the safety approvals, which you can see um, if you read this little that little panel right there. So moving on, uh, the only other difference between all of these is between the 650 as compared to the 750 and 850, and that's with the connectors, which I'm going to go over right now. So all three of these has a 20 plus 4 pin standard ATX motherboard connector. This last four pins will break away and swing up if you only have a 20 pin power motherboard. It reattaches just like that. Next off is our ATX 12 volt uh, or EPS 4 or 8 pin connector and that is uh, will work for either one. I should also mention that the length on this cable since they are advertising it, uh, I apologize, I'm going to have to double this up to get a rough measurement, 12 inches. So we're looking at about uh, 22 to 23 inch length on that uh, ATX EPS cord right there, which is I often find is the one cord that you can't get quite to reach around to the plug you want it to, so plenty of length there. Um, moving on, we have all of our peripheral power connectors here, and um, amongst this bundle that you can see, we have eight serial ATA connectors, we have eight four-pin standard Molex connectors with the little squeeze-style uh, release, which is very helpful to have with your Molex connectors, as well as two of the mini floppy connectors uh, which are just like that one there. So 8, 8, and 2, that is again the same across all three models. And now as far as connectors go, we move on to the only part that is different. That is with our uh, PCI Express power plugs here. Um, the 850 and the 750 watt versions have four PCI Express power plugs, so those uh, will work great if you have an SLI or Crossfire setup. The 650 watt version only has two uh, PCI Express power connectors. So it's really the only difference between these three models as far as the different connectors that are available. And again, all of these PCI Express power plugs are 6 plus 2, so they can fit 6-pin or 8-pin PCI Express power plugs on your video cards. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for today, folks. This has been our first look, unboxing, and spec overview of the Corsair TX version 2 series. The 650-watt, 750-watt, and 850-watt versions are all available now at Newegg.com. Thank you very much for watching today's video, and we will see you next time on Newegg TV.